Before you set up a flow drain detail, modify the slab edges as demonstrated on your screen to make it cover beyond the footprint of the building. Check the result on 3D. We have an issue here of connection of footing to address. This is caused by the modification of a slab edges. Select the footing. Make sure the suspend group is active and select right click to edit the profile. From here, let's duplicate the profile from the profile manager and make a copy for that. You can give it a naming of your choice. In this case, I will say both side, flow detail both side or flow detail A and B. I think A and B is the perfect uh, for this demonstration and hit OK. Select the gravel and the waterproofing material. Right click on your screen and move to mirror copy. Use the midpoint of the concrete material, then save. Go back to the 3D window to apply these changes. Select the footing and apply. Fantastic. From here, open the floor plan view and let's close off the profile manager window and set up the pen set for the floor slab. Select the floor slab and open the floor plan section under the info box and overwrite the pen sets to color 142 for both uncut and hidden line pen. Then from here, from the cost material, open the floor drain and file and copy the profile to your project and open the profile manager from options menu and create a new profile for floor drain detail and hit ok then right click to paste the material here Click outside the MyQ to complete the process of pasting and make it available for the beam tool and save. So from here, let's try apply this to the floor plan. Open the floor plan view and zoom in to the position where we are going to place um, this floor drain. Activate the beam tool and assign the floor drain layer. Then let's close off the profile manager and pick the flow drain profile and place it by the geometry of rectangle by the look of things on the graphic this is not gonna work let's go back to the options menu complex profile manager to open the flow drain detail and edit let's select everything and move it to the midpoint of of the of the um origin point now i think let's move it on the outside of the origin point and then hit save from here go back to the front plane view and activate the beam tool and try to place it if you place by using the geometry method of rectangular should be fine let's select activate the suspend group to select all all elements of the black of the floor drain and override the the pen set to color one for all the lines perfect and let's appreciate the result on a 3d window if you look at this it's on an inverse instead of um, having it outside the the origin point hit edit and select all everything then let's move it to the or mirror it first that way and then save i think let's move it to the this side to the origin point 
that will be perfect for the position and go back to the 3d now everything looks fine so from here let's open the section to position this flow drain perfectly so we can select that and move it down to the then go back to the floor plane and select the slab finish around the area of the the drain then click on the point to activate the subtract polygon and subtract using the floor drain then do the same to the floor slab to the main floor slab and subtract check on the section should be fabulous now it's fantastic perfect you can also check on a 3d window to appreciate the result now the next step is to set or assign data for to this select it and open the beam settings from here under classification and properties let's assign this atlas under floor floor construction superstructure floor structural frame and choose move down to the description parameter under properties then let's give this a row for a row for drain or a row for floor drain um, description then okay perfect you can go back again to the floor plan and we can now get rid of the 2d lines